Hello, everyone. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. <coughs> Excuse me. I pray that you're having a blessed day. Praise God. Praise God. This is something that has been on my heart, my spirit, and also y'all wondering what's going on with this generation. I'm going to tell you what's going on. Um, you really, I know, I know these kids doing what they're doing, but parents, some of this is your fault, God says. You got to stop speaking curses over your children. You get what you speak. Proverbs 18, 21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it should eat the fruit thereof. You're at, you acting, you asking why your child acting like that? Mom, what you saying? Dad, what you saying? Because let me tell y'all something. Y'all say some terrible things, even in public. So let me read this right quick, okay? What God told me to tell y'all. Parents, watch your mouths. Also, stop telling your children that they are no good are just like their mother or father. Come on, somebody. Also, um, stop telling them they will amount to, into nothing or they won't be anything. Stop telling them that. Stop telling them that they're bad. Come on, somebody. Stop telling them negative things. Support them. Build them up. Quit doing witchcraft. What is witchcraft? Witchcraft, witchcraft actually, excuse me, is manipulation. Trying to make them be who you want them to be. Oh, I'm I'm going somewhere. Just because you didn't do what you should have did or didn't do or, or did too much of it. Oh, come on, somebody. And stop with that. Oh, don't do as I do. Do as I say. That don't work either, just to let you know. And what I mean by that, if they don't live their lives according to your standards, you say ugly and mean things to them. Or your family and friends try to make them shame. Ooh, that's the big one right there. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. Why some family members are so hurt and broken. Because of y'all. Y'all gang up on them. Oh, I'm about to go here. Some people not going to like me. They not going to like me today. They did it to me. Oh, you ain't going to be nothing. Um, my nickname is Deanie. Um, You know, y'all know my background. I, I, I'm very transparent. I mean, what they didn't tell me. I thank God he had his hand on me. I'm going to say it again. I thank God my mother. Now, she never did that. My mother never talked. Oh, no. And you couldn't do that in front of her. But most, for the most part, I heard what people were saying. And good thing that God kept me in his hands. I'm going to say that again. Good thing that God kept me in his hands. And what am I saying? Some of y'all, y'all, okay, there's a situation I know, and I'm going to speak on it. All right. Let's say I'm going here. Let's say your child is gay. Y'all will try to get, and you, and you come from a Christian foundation. Y'all will try to tear that child down instead of build that child up. I'm not saying encourage anything that's negative. That's not what I'm saying. But you're not, y'all getting them up to hurt them, try to make them shame and embarrass. And then when they wind up doing something stupid or even suicidal, y'all say, well, I don't know what happened. You happen. You got everybody to gang up on them instead of pray for them. I just said something. I just said something. And if y'all can't manipulate their lives, then y'all get everybody and y'all talk bad about them to family and to friends in front of their faces. And y'all wonder why we have a generation called X. That's because the grown ups been doing extra. That's right. The X is for extra, not just X them out. So anyway, let me continue. Um, manipulation is witchcraft. I don't care how you put it. Adults, children, if you try to manip, I'm going to say manipulate, that means make somebody do something. You are a witch or a warlock. You can say what you want to say. I really don't care. You don't even hug them. Y'all don't hug y'all children anymore. Y'all just give them, you know, and, and I'm so tired of hearing this one. Um, I want them to have a better life than I had. Well, guess what? You're going to have to do better. You got to be there. Y'all just throwing technology at them, money at them, shoes at them, clothes at them. But y'all not building up their character. Y'all not building up their attitude. Y'all not telling them they're wrong. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm just trying to tell y'all straight up. Hallelujah. This is real. This is so real. So... What you're going to do is you're going to have to pray for them in this hour. This is a spiritual battle. This is not like we had when we were young. We we just had a little stuff to combat. They got deem, real big demons to combat. The world has taught these kids how to hate, how to be angry, how to be sexual, how to have fleshly desires. So now the only way we can break that down is through the spirit. So God says that your job is to respect them, protect them, Teach them, love them, even when they're wrong and they disappoint you. But you're going to do what you want to do. This is how you're going to win back this generation. You have to love them back to life, God says. But stop speaking curses over your children. Some of y'all, and I'm, I'm going to be real with y'all, some of y'all curse out your children all in front of people. I, I think I almost got into it with somebody one day. I didn't even know these people. I, I, they were, she was cursing, right? And I thought, I looked back because I didn't know if it was a man or a woman she was cursing. 
When I look back, she was cursing her child. And I know y'all probably going to say I was wrong, but I sure got in it. I said, excuse me, you church, you, you cussing your child like that? I thought you was cussing your husband or, or whoever that is standing next to you. And she just looked at me like, stay out of my business. I'm crazy. I get in people's business sometimes. You can call me what you want. I'm just not the one. I ain't never been the one. She was cursing that child like a grown person. So I had to look back because I didn't know what was going to pop off, right? When I looked back and saw there was a child, I couldn't help but say something. And I see it all the time. And yet, when they start cursing at a young age, y'all think that's cute. But what y'all don't understand is that the cycle continues. Come on, somebody. A vicious cycle, a violent cycle, a disrespect cycle. And then y'all wonder why they end up in jail a day, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Parents, start parenting the right way. Quit allowing the world to actually raise your children. And then when they're bad in school, y'all sitting up there blaming the teachers. No, parent, what you doing? Come on, somebody, how do you? And then, to be honest with you, when somebody tell you about your little kid that you think is a saint, but really is a hellion, yeah, I said it, you, you, oh, don't talk about my kid. Well, guess what, parent, that's, that, that's a reflection of you. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. It all starts at home. Then y'all want to drop them off to school like, like the teacher's supposed to do everything. That's why these teachers are tired now. Because to be honest with you, these children are not getting raised the right way. They're not. They're not. Y'all know it. Let's be honest. And that's because, guess what? Most of them are coming from single family homes. No father. Some of them no mother. Y'all know it's true. So what am I saying? It's time to start praying over your children like never before. It's not going to work like you used to do. It's not going to work, God says. I'm telling you. And you have to, the, the way that you truly protect them is by praying for them. So I'm, I'm not going to go around in circles with this. Uh, this is straight to the point. Stop treat, and stop treating them like they're grown. They're not. And then, uh, I got to say this one. Then when they go out there and they start dealing and willing, selling drugs, y'all don't say nothing if, they, if the money good. But then if they get killed or something, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus, you want to put some little wings on them and say, oh, my baby. Was that your baby when they was carrying that millimeter and y'all calling them shooter and hitter? Oh, apostle, you tripping. No, apostle telling the truth. Y'all better stop. Y'all better stop, God says. He's going to hold you accountable. And then y'all want to say, well, they took him. No, no. What part you played in their demise? Y'all need to start opening up your eyes straight up. Hallelujah. God, God, let me tell you what God is doing in this hour. He is peeling back that onion of every lie that the enemy been saying. He is exposing everything and everybody in this hour. Point blank, whether you love it or not, whether you like it or not. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for y'all know that is truly who we are. God bless.